If you try to film your old CRT screen with a standard camera, it usually looks like this. There is either incredible flicker or a black rolling strip. Now it's due to the difference in the scanning frequency between the CRT and the camera, and also a different perception of the phosphor dots by the camera lens, which is much less sensitive to image persistence than our eyes. Basically, to avoid these annoying effects, you need to experiment with different refresh rates in your screen and or your camera settings to make them match one another. This operation is tedious, and you'll be lucky if it gives you satisfying results at once. Now, some camcorders use 30 frames per second, and you can avoid the problem if you can get the screen to refresh at a rate of 60 frames per second progressive. Good luck trying to change that with a video card adapter for a 1980s computer screen, or your good old TV. But more recent ones will at least allow you some changes in refresh rate. Also, camcorders that use a 1 100th of a second shutter speed will cause these rolling black strips, unless you turn the steady shot mode off to get it back to 1 60th or 1 30th of a second shutter speed. All said, that's quite a lot of trouble when it comes to record a quality video. That's why it's important to get an adequate DSLR device. You can't afford a $1,000 DSLR camera? The good news is that you don't necessarily need one to get all the necessary settings. You can use a smartphone app that will do the job. I'm using an Android device app. It's rather powerful and has a lot of professional options, including shutter speed, which is what interests us here. As we've just seen, controlling shutter speed is a necessary condition for any decent recording of a CRT picture. And what's good with this app is that it has an automatic feature that detects the refresh rate of the screen you're pointing it at. This way, you don't even have to try different setting configurations. The app does it for you. But it still has flaws. The auto detection doesn't work so well in a dark environment, and you need that to reduce reflection and glare on your screen, which is another big issue when it comes to CRT. So you'll need first to adjust the luminosity level in the room as well as on the camera lens, and when you find that the camera is able to eliminate the flickering, you can begin recording. The problem is that whenever the screen displays an alternance of darker and brighter images, this is sometimes enough to upset the camera settings, and you then need to reset the focus and readjust the brightness levels. An interesting fact now, the default camera on my Android phone didn't have these automatic features. That's why I bought the DSLR Pro camera application, but it seems like the Apple iPhone has it by design because I could film CRT screens seamlessly without issues and without bothering about any settings using the default camera app. It had horrible sound though, so that I used it as a secondary camera only. I hope this short review was helpful to you and that you'll be able to give your good old computer all the credit it deserves for so many years of unwavering service. A bye for now, see you soon, and in the meantime, have nice retro dreams.